Welcome to the CYSO Jam Kazam tutorial. This is part two, setting up your Jam Kazam account. What you need for the CYSO Jam Kazam meets. A computer with Windows or Mac operating system. An Ethernet connection to your router, not Wi-Fi, directly from an Ethernet port to the LAN port of your router. If your computer does not have an Ethernet port, one may be purchased inexpensively that connects with USB. An audio interface, which we discussed in the last tutorial, and a microphone, mic cable, headphones, and I very highly suggest a nice microphone stand. And then finally, the Jan Kazam desktop app. First, download the Jam Kazam desktop app at jamkazam.com. There, create your profile, including a username, sync your audio gear, which is your specific audio interface, to your profile. Every time you go on to Jam Kazam, if you use that same audio interface, you will not need to repeat that process. Four, make any adjustments with the audio interface control panel or the ASIO panel, as we discussed in the first video, that is needed for optimum performance and latency. It is possible for you to adjust the sampling rate and the buffering rate to in achieve the lowest possible latency. Finally, give your specific username to your manager to be able to schedule the friends-only sessions in Jamkazam. Hi guys, we're going to get started with Jamkazam. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is download the app onto my computer. So I will just Google Jamkazam app and I'll get this and it'll take me to the download the app for Windows or Mac depending upon the computer that I use. Once I download the app I can then open the app. I already have the app open on my computer and I would go to the account homepage which looks like this. I could work on my profile. I can also update my audio gear. Now, this is something that you have to do when you first enter Jamkazam with whatever audio interface you're using, you have to update it into the program. It's a very simple process and you can do it from your profile page, audio gear. You would click the Add New Gear, and it would automatically scan for any external devices. And you can add those devices to your profile. On this computer, I'm using the Audient i14. Once I've completed loading my information into the audio profile, I'm good to jam. Now, over here is my friends page, and this is kind of important because I am going to be jamming with my friends, so I want to make sure that all of my friends are here in this page. So when I start a session that's friends only, only my friends can get connected to my session. If they're not part of my friends, they will not be able to get into my friends only sessions. And for CYSO, those are the only sessions we'll be using. Friends only. There's also notifications. If I'm a student and I'm expected to be in a session that another student has started, I would re receive a notification or an invite in my notifications. And it would show up here with the number of invites I would have. This is the home page. This is where I can create a session, find a session, 
or work on my account or profile. Let's start with creating a session. The Quick Start Solo is a good place to, to start if you want to find out how well your audio interface is handling the program. You can click on Audio Settings. Now you'll get a character like this with your profile and where your interface is right now. As you can see right now, my interface is actually doing quite well at 4.2 milliseconds. My internet is also doing quite well. It does fluctuate, but that's not to worry so much. If you notice, the driver file that I'm using is an ASIO. We talked about those kind of driver files earlier in the uh, video about connecting your audio interface. And my frame size is two, point, or two milliseconds. We'll talk about that in a second. Now, once I've been able to log on, which means I have less than 20 milliseconds of latency, I am free to go to another session, but I have to leave this first to connect to my other sessions. I don't want to give feedback right now. So maybe I want to go to create session again and start a session with my friends. I can invite the other friends by simply just clicking on my friends. Once I do that, I would also see their profiles here. Now being that I started this session, that would give me control of the session mixer. Every musician that's in the session, I would have access to controlling their volume. We found that just setting the volumes at the nominal rate, and I'll show you in a second, is best for everyone, and just to have the individual musicians set their own volume for themselves by hovering their mouse over the speaker. And you can make this slider go up or down depending upon what your input is. If I wanted to adjust my frame rate, I would go to the Manage button and then go to the Audio Settings. There's something here called the Audio Booster and that would allow me to change my bit rate or change my audio frame size. I found that with my audio interface, two milliseconds works best. You want to try to have the lowest possible amount of milliseconds that your audio interface can handle without creating any kind of crackling noises. This is something that you have to just kind of experiment with and see what works best for your system. I can close out of that. And that is how I set up my jam casino.